Hey guys, this is Gamer Tia. Today we're gonna be modding going medieval. And anybody can do this. It's pretty easy. I just gotta show you a couple things. What we're gonna be modding is the stack sizes, the decay. Yeah, so stack mod or er, stack sizes and decay rates. So I'm gonna show you how to do those two things and uh so it's only going to be in one file that you have to edit things. You don't need anything fancy. You can use Notepad Plus, um, which is what I recommend when you're modding any type of JSON files. So you're going to go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common, going medieval. All right. Then we're going to go to going medieval data. And then, see the resources, nope, okay, Steam Assets, Streaming Assets is what we're going to do, okay? So that was Steam Apps, Common, Going Medieval, Going Medieval Data, Streaming Assets, all right? Now you have all these guys here. A lot of these you can go in and mod if you want to, but that's not what we're going to look for. We're going to look for... Uh, Resources folder. Okay. So we're in the Going Medieval data folder. Streaming assets. Resources folder. Okay, we're going to go to the resources.json. Right click, click that. We're going to open with Notepad. All right. So it's nice, plain, simple stuff. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is look at stack size. So you're going to look at stack size limit right here. Uh, I've already updated 25 to 250. So that means when um, when your worker bees put stuff in the stockpiles, they will stack up to 250 now instead of just uh, 25. Um, so that's it right there. And that's for red current. So you have to do this for every single one. So my suggestion would be to highlight this. Control H. And it's going to pop up this window. So it'll replace. Control H is for replace. I'm going to put this in here. Control C. Control V. And change that from 250 to 500. Replace all. Boop. So 20 occurrences that had 250 limit are now 500. Okay. So that's the first part for the stacking size. The second part we're going to do is the temperature and the rot. So these will have different numbers in here. Um, I really wish I could get this a little closer. You can see a little bit better, but uh, this is what I have. So you're going to look for decompose modifiers, temperature coefficients, and these are going to have different numbers on them. You want to set these all to zero. And then after that, you're going to go to ground coefficient and set that to zero. Once you're done with that, that means temperature, uh, them being on the ground, and the temperature is not going to affect them decomposing anymore. The second part of that, so we're still using red current as the resource. Um, the second part of that is rotting modifiers. So, in order to prevent it from rotting, you have to tell it that you wanted all zeros again and the ground coefficient to zero again. So you'll have to do this on uh, all the files below in order to get what you need done done. It's not too bad. Uh, I ended up cutting and pasting, um, like copy this and drop it in where it next needs to go next. I actually have to look for a couple places because I think I missed a couple of them. So zeros and zeros and more zeros. So I've already edited this file. Um, as you can see, most of the stuff is good. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Stacking size limit 200. I think I'm going to go ahead and pump the 200 up to 500 too. Control C. Control H. 200 to 500. Replace all. Okay. 
And I do believe that is it. Short, sweet, easy to do for pretty much anybody. Hopefully you guys were able to uh, follow this and have a good night. Bye guys.